With the Georgia runoff elections taking place next week, President Trump says he will hold a rally there for Republicans Kelly Loeffler and David Perdue the night before the election. So can the president push Loeffler and per Perdue over the top? Let's bring in our panel, David Avella and Richard Fowler, now to discuss. Gentlemen, thanks for being here on this Monday morning. Morning. David, um, is there any danger to having the president come in and campaign for these Republican candidates? The president has a track record of helping elect Republicans that would be the envy of any president, as we just saw in November, where uh, we certainly beat expectations uh, across the board in not only being in a position to hold our majority in the Senate, but actually pick up seats in the U.S. House. And if you look at the early vote returns right now in Georgia, uh, it, it's an older uh, electorate that is casting early votes. Uh, and if those numbers are similar to what they were in the general election, it favors the Republicans once again. All of that said, John, I, th I think the most telling thing of where national Democrats are going into this special election is the fact that in California, Gavin Newsom had a choice that he could appoint someone to fill Senator Harris's open spot coming up, or he could uh, um, appoint someone. And he chose to appoint someone instead of doing a special election, because there's no guarantee that right now a Democrat could win statewide, given how poorly he is managing affairs out there. Right. So uh, uh, just to be clear, the choice for Gavin Newsom was special election or appointment, and he chose to go the appointment route. That's right. All right. Um, Richard, uh, you know, a lot of Democrats seem to think that um, getting out and voting November 3rd to remove Donald J. Trump from office was their sole mission. And now that that's been accomplished, they, they kind of might think they're done. Is that a worry for you regarding these Georgia Senate races? Uh, not at all. And David is right. The president does have a track record of electing Republicans in a world where he is on the ballot. When the president isn't on the ballot, that success rate plummets quite considerably. Uh, and I think it's worth pointing out that as we, as we look at this Georgia Senate race, we also have to realize that the president's at odds with his party. Just a couple of days ago, the president requested $2,000 direct payments to the American people. Both Kelly Loeffner and David Perdue have been silent on this matter, and Mitch McConnell has said no. So when the president goes to campaign for these two candidates next week, He's going to be on the opposite side of them when it comes to an issue that most Americans care about. How do we get out this pandemic? And will I receive a stimulus check? And will it be sizable enough to help me and my family as we try to make ends meet at our kitchen table? Well, Richard, and, and Donald Trump and the Democrats stand on one side and the Republicans stand on the other. Richard, you, you can't lay that all at the feet of President Trump. Democrats and Nancy Pelosi <laughs> blocked uh, uh, those checks from coming before the election. No, um, no, no. I, I mean... I agree with that, but I'm talking about the point that the president has requested $2,000 stimulus checks, which Pelosi has agreed to, and Mitch McConnell and, and, and Republicans have disagreed to. There will be a vote on that, at least in the House, uh, we understand today. Um, th this interesting headline, uh, front page editorial, really caught our eye in the New York Post. Uh, it's titled, Give It Up, Mr. President, For Your Sake in the Nation and the Nations. And it goes on to say, uh, this from the Post, uh, uh, from the New York Post editorial board. We understand, Mr. President, that you're angry that you lost, but to continue down this road is ruinous. If Republicans David Perdue and Kelly Leffler win, they will prevent Biden from rolling back what you have accomplished. If Georgia falls, all that is threatened. It goes on to say, stop thinking about January 6th, which is the day that the Congress will vote to certify the Electoral College results, and start thinking about January 5th, the date of the Georgia elections. Uh, David, what do you think about that uh, editorial content? The president is thinking about moving forward, hence why he is going to Georgia on the 4th. And just one bit of uh, correcting history, the president wasn't on the ballot in 2018, and it was his campaigning for U.S. Senate candidates that made sure we kept our majority in 18 when many pundits in this town of Washington, D.C. said, DC said we were going to lose the majority, and they said we we're going to lose it in 20, and we didn't lose it. Uh, this election isn't about any one issue. And in fact, quite frankly, the president signing the stimulus package and Purdue and Loeffler voting for it kind of puts that issue to bed. But there is no one issue. It's that what's the direction of the country going to be? Very quickly. And th in this country, it used to be we 
agreed on the goals. We wanted to get there differently. And now you have two parties that want to go dramatically different directions for this country. And in Georgia, you're going to see them vote for Loeffler and Purdue. We'll be watching those races real quickly, Richard. Your final thoughts. Listen, I think David brings up a good point. He's right to point out that the president does have some success. But let's remember that in 20, uh, in this past, last two months ago, right, last month in November, Donald Trump lost Georgia considerably. Uh, and he lost Georgia because of the organizing work of black women and Atl the Atlanta suburbs turning out in record number. If those suburbs do that again, we'll see them, we'll see Democrats pick up both of these seats. That's the if that everybody's wondering about. David Avella, Richard Fowler, thank you both.